Hello friends, Jermaine here and welcome to this video. In today's package of the week, we'll be looking at the characters library, which is from the Dart team. What the characters package does is it allows us to effectively manipulate strings in that we are able to access the actual characters of a string or the characters as perceived by a user. The examples I'll be going through is based on this Medium article by Tao Dong. And he's put together this article going over some of the scenarios. I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check that out yourself. All right, so I'll come to the code base. I've got a stagehand web project set up and I've just created this bin folder with the main.dart file. So we're going to be starting from here. In the pubspec.yaml file, I've added a dependency for the characters package. It's currently at 1.0, so ready for prod pretty much. So let's look at some of the scenarios and see how this package resolves some of the problems we'll experience. I'm going to create a string. I will say hello world and we'll include the emoji wave symbol. Okay, I'm going to print out the length of this text and then I'll run this file. Okay, so printing out the length gives us 14. However, if we count the amount of characters as perceived by the user in the string, it's actually less than 14. So let's count it now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there are 13 characters as perceived by the user. But then we are getting 14 when we print out the length of the text, which is because the dot string API works by counting code unit attached to each character. So for strings like this, there's only one code unit, but for a string such as the hand wave emoji, there are two code units assigned to that. So to see what that looks like, I'm going to print out text.runes. And then if we look at all of that, this is the code point for H, this is the code point for E, and so on and so forth. So, and the code point unit for this is actually this number here. Challenge here is that this is outside the range covered by the UTF-16 character set. So the Dart string API only covers the characters within the UTF-16 range. This is UTF-32. So within UTF-16, the code points from this hand gesture is actually two different ones. Installing the characters package allows us to access a property on strings called characters. And if I lock this out, that just gives us the whole characters, but what I meant to do was to display that as a list. So now, that gives us each of the characters that will be perceived by a user. And if we log out the length of this, you see that gives us the correct number we expect. So let's go to the second example. And in this, we'll be looking at how to extract a part of the string in here. So we can print out text or substring. So we'll start from index 6 and we'll go up to 13. So if I save this, and then I log this. Okay, we get that. Because this wave symbol actually has two different code units, going up to index 13 cuts into the first code unit, but it does not incorporate the second one. And because of that, we get this malformed character, so it doesn't print out correctly. So the way we can resolve this using the characters package is by doing text.characters. And the characters class actually has a similar API to an iterable or it implements the iterable API so we can do we can skip the first six characters and then we can take the remaining seven from that and then we'll do it to string and let's see what that gives us okay so that gives us that as expected the third scenario we're going to look at is around splitting a string. To demonstrate the problem, I'm going to create another string object. I'll incorporate some emojis in there as well. And then I'm going to print out text2.split and we'll be splitting on this emoji like that. When I run that, okay, we get this result and the problem is that this emoji is, is formed by four different emoji symbols. So there's the man, there's the woman, and then there's the girl and the boy. And this emoji symbol is actually part of this group, which is why in the result, we get the male, we get a female, and then the girl 
it has also been used as a delimiter in this split function so it cuts off at that point and then we see the boy and then everything else resumes as expected that's how we get that so the way we can address this is by doing something along the lines of that also has a split method it takes in a pattern this one has our pattern and we do dot characters and then let's convert the result to a list okay so at least in this example it does it properly although in the terminal the icon has been broken up into these four but let's just ignore that the point here is that this function is splitting the way we expect it to so all of this is grouped in the same list item as well as these three okay and the fourth scenario to look at will be accessing a character by index so to demonstrate the problem i've got these two strings and if we look closely we see some different symbols for example this bit and what we're going to do with this is we'll print out the first name's first character to uppercase and then we'll do the last name first character to uppercase so if when i run this we get eb as the result but then when we look closer we see that the letter E is missing the accent on top because this one comes with an accent on top so this character is formed by two different code units the letter E and then the accent on top of it so in order to get that to log out correctly we can print out first name dot characters dot first and then we can convert that to uppercase and then we can do that with the last name so when I save that and then I run we get that the accent on top and i'm going to zoom in so you can see a bit more so if you look closely you can see the accent on top of it which differs from this one so this is what we want okay so in general these are some of the use cases whereby the characters package can be very effective in ensuring that strings are properly traversed and manipulated um, without falling into some of the bugs that can be caused by emojis or any um, strings that are outside the utf16 character range and before i sign off i've got a last example i want to go through building something practical with this what we've learned and it's simply a character counter so in my web folder index i'm going to have a text area i'll have a div and a span and styles.css i'll replace all of this with my own styles okay now that i've got my styles i'll run this by doing what they've served auto restart okay i just open this in localhost uh, okay it says your data app is running sorry let me get rid of that okay so we get something like that and in my main.dart file in the web folder i'm gonna import our package i'll create some variables so let's say our maximum characters will be 50 we'll query select the text area in the document and then we'll query select our span tag and on page load we'll set the text on this so let's take a look so we got this and um so i'm just going to make this wider in the stars okay that should not be wider and what i'm going to do is add a key up event so add a key up event on the text area and what we'll do is we'll retrieve the value of our text area and we'll get the length of that and then we'll update the text of our char count and then we'll just do a quick check so if the length of characters goes over our max characters then we'll add a class to our character count or else we'll just remove it okay so if i re reload this and then we do lorem ipsum get 11 and then i add an emoji so i need to add two code point units and then if i add another emoji like this one that produces eight extra code units which increases it to 50 which of course is not what we expect so if we continue typing already we've gone over the limit so with the characters package we can easily solve it by doing text.characters 
dot length here and also over here you can do value dot characters dot length and if i come back to the web i reload and then we have the same text now it gives us the correct number so we can continue typing and now we can say that is the correct number of characters as perceived by the user so if we count all of it, it should be 50. okay so hopefully all of this makes sense i'm gonna end the video here i think this package is pretty nifty it does what it says on the tin so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and also share this video as well so that others can get to know more about these packages if you are not a subscriber hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any updates if you've got any questions let me know down below and i'll see you in the next video